All right, guys, today we've got a uh, Silicone Dust HD Home Run Flex Quattro 4X um, ATSC Tuner HD FX. Um, it was $154. And basically, I'm hoping with this and Plex that I should be able to uh, get rid of our TiVo since the, I don't know that just seems to be a waste of money anymore they uh, you know said that they're giving you commercial skip and everything and I don't know it's a half the time the skip doesn't work you end up with commercials that they download that you have to watch before you can skip them but every single time you gotta grab it and you hit the skip button I don't know you're paying money for a service why the heck do you have to have ads? That's my, my problem with it. Uh, so here's the home run. You've got your uh, ethernet port and a USB, is it? I think it's just USB two port. I don't think it's a three, but it's for the DVR function if you pay for that but with a uh, Plex server that I already have set up in my house, you can use that for a DVR. And it'll automatically strip the commercials and everything else, I guess. So here's what you get in the package, or the box you get. Of course, the home run unit. You get the, uh, whoops, stay. Get the setup manual. Ethernet, it's a Cat5e and of course the power so I'm gonna get it connected I'm not sure if my um, coax over here the jack on the wall is hooked up so we're gonna find out all right so it says to plug in your antenna and the network cable and then you plug the power cord in Look at that. All right, and then where's the paper again? <sighs> okay, go to my dot hd home run dot com. All right, so there we go. We got the instructions which device and here's the third party software that it works with so my account Oops. okay so I don't know who this is going to help because once again it's recording directly on the screen um, but this is inside my Plex server and you just go into your settings select which server it is and then go to manage and then live TV DVR. Click setup. It automatically found it. And then it goes through and it asks you if this is the correct information. You can actually change this if it's coming up with the wrong. Oops, go back. If it's coming up with the wrong one. Um, for some reason this isn't picking up all my channels, so I'm going to have to do it again later. Um, so yeah, that's that. Continue. Tells you which ones are HD channels. And now it's grabbing all the information for the guide. going to pause until that's done okay so it pays to read it actually says that it's uh, you can now find your guide and channels under the live TV uh, while this is doing that you can actually close this and start playing around with it so here we go of course there's nothing in here yet but this is all the channels and you can click it 
can go to it. Maybe. Why is it doing that? And you can pause. And you can go back. Of course, that weren't on the channel that long. And if there was more buffered, you could, you know, pause and then skip through and skip the commercials. Once again, for some reason, this didn't come up with the HD channel, so I gotta go figure out. Maybe I got a bad splitter out in my box. But I guess the bigger question is here. Yeah, it still won't let me skip forward. Um, how does it work on the TV? Because the whole thing is to get rid of the TiVo next year. Flex. go down to live TV. So now the cool thing would be is if they'd set this up like uh, the TiVo where you can switch through your tuners and you, that way you can watch two shows at the same time that aren't recorded and uh, pause one, watch the other one. When that one hits commercials, you pause that one, switch back to the other one. You know, that way you don't have to watch commercials on your shows. Uh, that'd be a pretty cool little step there if they did that. So let's see. And you can pause and you can skip forward All right. and can you set up recording from here um, I don't think so I think you have to set up the recordings on your computer because there's not really let's see if I hit info just no nope. yeah I don't know any other way of doing that so I think you're kind of stuck going to your computer to update it all right so this is an HD channel let's see how this looks and now it has four tuners so while this is running, I should be able to watch the show on my laptop too. Yeah, see, something screwed up with the antenna. That looks terrible. And it's froze. Let's see if that one comes in. <coughs> I may end up just putting a splitter behind the TiVo there for now. Except for the only problem is I don't have a network connection over there. Yeah, that pretty much looks like garbage. Of course, now the question is. Is it the antenna? That's where I think it is. Or is it the network connection? But it's wired, so that should be fine. Um, I have a new router coming in today, so I'll see if that makes a difference. But I think, it, oh shoot, I still can't move it over there. I gotta figure out a way to get an actual network connection, hardwired connection over to the TiVo. 
or to the you know TV there so yeah that's where we're at right now I guess um, looks like it could be kind of promising here so does this just automatically go to the end yes it does so it's got a gun no and that takes it all the way to the back the so it doesn't appear on the TV Oh, okay, so if you don't bring up the menu and you just hit the over button, that skips <laughs> into a green screen. Um, yeah, that's pretty great. So, backwards, 55. Fifteen forty-four. it looks like forward it goes probably about 30 seconds or so wow that's terrible okay I gotta figure out the antenna but I mean, at this point, it looks like it'll work. I just need to get a better signal. Better get that off. All right. Now, one thing I don't know is when you pause and stuff, if that's handled inside of the the tuner or the um, HD home run, or if that's actually buffered off of the Plex. So that'd be something kind of interesting to find out. Um, but here's the hope and get rid of the stupid TiVo. Alright, thanks for watching guys.